Hey, yes, sir. Good morning, <clears throat> Jesus. He is Lord today, right now. And thank God the word works. I can go to my Bible and trust my Bible. I had a course on that when I was in Bible college, you know, 50 years ago. Can I trust my Bible? And I found out I can. Oh, thank God I can trust the word. God is not a man that he should lie. Had he not said and shall he not do it? Jesus said the kingdom of God is this a man sows the seed of the word of God, which is called the incorruptible seed in the soil of his heart, and then sleeps and, night rises, sleeps and rises night and day, and that seed should spring and grow up. You plant the seed and it will grow. Mark chapter 4, so is the kingdom of God. That man plants that seed and it will grow. And in Acts it says, and it will prevail. The word grew and prevailed. So you're having some situations in your life, plant the seed of the word of God, it will grow, it will prevail. Strong faith, the Abrahamic kind of faith. What Abraham did to have faith, it says Abraham was fully persuaded that what God had said he was able also to perform. There's a place where God called Abraham to offer his only son, Isaac. And so Abraham obeyed and went out to offer his son. And when he got to the place where he was going to go up into the mountain, all the guys that was with him, he said to them, he said, the boy and I will go up in the mountain and the boy and I will return. He knew even though he had heard the voice of God, that God was going to require him to sacrifice his son, he knew that God was going to do something because in Isaac was all the seed of the world going to be blessed. Strong faith. <laughs> Strong faith is simply believing in what God said. I'm patting my Bible here. Simply believing what God said had come to pass. <clears throat> you see, Psalm 107 verse 20, y'all know this. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from all of their destructions. I have strong faith and I believe that's what's coming to pass in my life, not what a doctor's report is. Or I believe, Philippians 4, 19, that my God shall supply all of my need according to his riches and glory, not according to my need. And I believe that rather than what my bank account says. Believing the word of God is what strong faith is. God gave us faith. He gave us the gift of faith, but it comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Well, explain that to me, Pastor Frank. Okay. You went down to the little local Baptist church, you know, as a kid, your mother and dad raised you there. And every time you went to that church, you heard the pastor preach on salvation. You heard him talk about that you must be born again and that you've got to receive Jesus as your Lord. You heard that from age two when you was able to understand it to all the way through life. You heard it and you heard it and you heard it. And one day faith came. You sitting there in that church like I was, you're sitting in that church and faith came. I must be born again. I don't want to go to hell. I want to go to heaven. I want to receive that faith birthed in your heart by hearing the word of God. And sure enough, you got up, walked forward, shook the pastor's hand, signed the rededication card, uh, you know, followed the Lord in baptism, whatever the things that you did, because faith came as a result of hearing the word of God. Or maybe somebody invited you to go to a Billy Graham crusade or you just watching it on TV. <clears throat> and when he made the call and everybody was going forward, you got up or either sitting there in your chair, you said, I want to do that. Faith came by hearing. That's the only way that faith comes. Abraham believed what the Lord said to the point that he said, my boy and I are going to go up there to worship and we're going to come back because he believed God was going to do something. And that place has been named one of the redemptive names of God, Jehovah Jireh. My God will provide, and it literally means my God will provide for himself a sacrifice. Hey, listen, I don't want to get into that today, but Jesus took care of everything that you need, but you're going to have to believe it. You're going to have to go to it and say that's what the word says rather than what the circumstances say. So strong faith, the kind that you and I have, is to take your Bible, read your Bible, hear what the word says, believe what the word says, and then act on it to the best of your ability, and then you'll receive a miracle from God. God is a miracle working uh, where there is no way, he makes a way. Uh, he gets you out of the messes that you got yourself into, but he always does it the same way by faith because without 
faith, it's impossible to please him. And so you're going to have to have faith to do it. Now, one more little last thing on Abraham today. Sarah, over in uh, Hebrews chapter 11, it says about Sarah, that's the wife of Abraham here. It says that Sarah, uh, through faith, watch, through faith, not love, not grace, but through faith, also Sarah herself received strength to conceive and was de delivered of a child when she was past age because, what's this? She judged God faithful who had promised. See, she believed what God said rather than what her old body said. She believed what God said rather than the natural circumstances that her body was past age and she got her miracle. Well, I'm gonna believe what God says and have strong faith and give glory to God and have my miracle because I believe what he said. Strong faith, you got it, use it. So until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, remember all day long, hey, Jesus is Lord and thank God the word works.